are you considering podia email right and you just wanted an opinion if you should buy it or not and how is it different from all of the other email marketing tool providers out there right um i've done a lot of the research and this video is basically for you so um you know if you don't know if you if you look at my channel uh you know i've tested a lot of email marketing tools especially for uh content creators in the past so be it uh, convertkit flowdesk active campaign and, and a bunch of others and uh when podia email was announced i was really really excited because uh you know i've used podia <clears throat> and you know they're known for their ease of use right um you know be it you know if you look at their website builder and and their uh, you know their their community uh, tool and uh, you know their affiliate prog program um creator like they're known to kind of bring that uh, ease of use into into all of their tools right so when i you know when i heard that they're kind of announcing an email tool i was like this is going to be interesting right mm -hmm. um so um i just thought i'd kind of uh you know kind of go through the platform and perhaps kind of give you an overview of like what uh, podia email kind of uh, looks like and then also kind of give you my opinion based on uh you know how i've used the other tools and uh where podia email kind of stacks up really well right so uh let's dive into it uh, a couple of things what i'll be covering today to basically test this out is i'm going to look at podia email's ease of use I'm going to test out their uh, list building. Uh, I'm going to test out their forms. I'm going to test out their email builder. I'm going to look at the, any workflows and automations, uh, any integrations, uh, pricing, um, you know, deliverability and, and a bunch of other things. Right. So just so, you know, it's a, it's a proper assessment. All right. So, I mean, just, just FI in case uh, you don't know prior, you know, Podia is kind of, uh, lets you run uh, your entire business you know in one place so you know they've been around for many many years now and you know you can kind of create your website you can create your blog you know you can kind of uh, you know create you know your own digital products you can create your courses you can create communities affiliates you know all of those different things right and and they're known for their ease of use and they recently announced email right so they've they've basically got all of these things now i think where this where this is basically helpful is uh, so they basically have like a bundling play right so they're bundling a lot of different tools within one platform and where that's uh, helpful is that first of all instead of paying for like 10 different subscriptions you kind of end up paying like for one subscription right uh, which obviously saves you a lot of uh, money and then also it also kind of makes it easy to kind of have those integrations pre-built into the into the tool right so for example let's say you used a podia to kind of set up your website right now for you to you know just collect emails you don't have to go out searching for like you know another email marketing tool out there right you could basically just integrate uh you know podia email into this and now everything's pre-set up everything's kind of set up all you need to do is just <clears throat> just enable like one check option and then uh, it's live and you're collecting emails right um, you could also kind of you know set up upsell sequences immediately for all of the people who perhaps purchased your digital products in the past so um, it's really helpful that way and then you know of course uh, it also uh, makes it easy to use but I think another thing that I've always seen with Podia is uh, just because it's easy doesn't mean it's not it's it's very less featured i think podia somehow manages to have ease of use but also not miss out on the most uh, advanced features so all right so i think let's kind of uh, dive into it right so first is when you kind of log into uh, podia right so you basically kind of get onto this 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 workspace right and now you know you can you know you've got your sites product excuse me products emails so we're going to focus on emails today um now, in order for you to kind of, um, you know, add any kind of emails, you can basically kind of, uh, there's a couple of ways you can add it manually or you can, you know, import a list. So I'll just show you here, right? So you can add a person in here and, you know, add a certain tag, right? Or let's say, <clears throat> you know, if let's say, for example, you want to add, you know, you want to import your subscribers, right? So just give me one minute all right so if i want to import my subscribers i can go in here or i can 
I can go here uh, from email to broadcast and then just click on uh, start importing, right? And then basically you can import it. So they usually have like their own uh, Excel file structure. So, you know, but you know, with first name and last name and email and all of that, that's the recommended one, but you can use your own CSV export anywhere. And then, it, you know, you can kind of map it uh, to certain uh, points, right? So for example, uh, you know, I mean, like I can, I can show you, it's not that difficult, but um, let's say I want to kind of, you know, tag it here and then prepare import, right? And then let's say I'm going to upload a CS, right? So now it's like, well, it's kind of found, you know, certain emails and, and, you know, all of like, it's found the mapping. Now let's say I'm going to add one of my files in here. <clears throat> Let's say I want to add this one, right? So now it's kind of found my uh, my emails, and now you know there's the name and there's the email and and all of these other things, right? So I can basically kind of just map it to the first name, last name. But you've got to map to a first name and an email. Those things are like absolutely necessary. So like right here at the end, I've got these emails as well, right? So I could just kind of uh, map it to the emails. Uh, and so, yeah, that's, that's basically how it is. Super simple, uh, you know, it basically kind of gets added right away. Once you've kind of added your <clears throat> emails, they basically kind of show up in here, in your audience, right? So uh, I think they also pick up the images from, basically from the, I don't know, uh, through, Ga you know, Gravatar or something. Uh, and now let's say, for example, I'll just search for myself. Right, and let's say I go in here. Yeah. Right, so I can I can see the details, uh, you know, my own details when I signed up, which products I've purchased, okay, and then how much I've spent, you know, what's my recurring cost right now, right now, and now this is the interesting bit within it. It's not just a subscriber now; it's almost like a customer for you in your <clears throat> in your personalized dashboard where you can kind of see their purchase trends you can see if you know you can basically segment by uh, how much a particular uh, you know subscriber is spent so for example if you see that there's a particular subscriber that spent more than $100 you can kind of send them a sequence to upsell them on a higher paying product right or you can upsell them to become an affiliate right if they're such a heavy consumer of your products right uh, there's a bunch of things you could do there, but I think this is one of those unique points of Podia email. Um, so anyway, so this is what it looks like. You know, of course, you can you can have all sorts of tags, and you know, like I said, you can have filters. So be it based on how much they've spent, right? Uh, you know, like you could add like uh, spend more than, or you could have you know, is a member or has signed up. So very deeply integrated into Podia email. <clears throat> yeah, sorry, into the whole Podia ecosystem, right? So this is what um, list management looks like. Now let's kind of go into creating a broadcast. Right? A broadcast is basically sending a one-off email to a bunch of uh, folks all together, right? So I'm gonna basically <clears throat> create a campaign, uh, which is, let's say about um, you know flat fifty, sorry, flat. 50% off on my courses for the next 24 hours. All right. Oops, sorry, for next 24 hours. Um, And then add this in here. And then, you know, obviously I could add my custom email address, but for now, let's just use this. Now for the recipients, I am gonna, you know, add a filter for basically tagged with the office right oh sorry i don't have any folks in there let's say i'm gonna tag it to storyline okay cool so now i've got about 50 subscribers i can see them just to confirm if these are the folks i want to send it to now let's take uh you know particular starting point right so now if you look at the templates that podia has pre-created right these are fairly new like i mean this is not your traditional very heavy on design these are quite minimalistic and simple and yet seem a little stylish right so i think this seems a little bit more like how maybe how substack perhaps um 
does their emails i don't know and and this is probably yeah like i mean you know more focus on on text is is what i see here yes there are some more image focused ones here right but i like the simplicity of it personally if you ask me i also like just sending like simple emails right so i could also kind of just create something like that right so you know how about we let's say try this right so i'm going to try to create a simple email right and basically what can i do in here so you can set background colors let's say i want to set it up to uh so basically i have this so this is one of my brand colors mm this is going okay maybe i need something light i think more towards the white yeah i like this uh so i could change this right now let's come back in here uh i could also kind of edit the font right so my font is libre franklin so i'm going i'm just going to change that i don't know if, if it supports google fonts mm, okay oh i think this is the colors of the font right oh no you can change it right so okay so it doesn't have the google font like i don't see libre franklin but i could just perhaps use something like let's take this one i think i like this more <clears throat> okay cool now so you can change the fonts you can change the buttons right so you, know, you can let's say i want to use a button which is my own brand color and i'm sure there must be a way to set the brand color but i'm going to use this one right um oh, and then you can also have round corners so let me try that out and then you can set up dividers okay fantastic now okay so this is how it is so now it can be like hey and now how do i add okay got it so i can i can add a text i can add a gap image videos all of that right features this is interesting let's see what a feature looks like ah okay so i can basically add like my uh course image or my product image or something and then basically <clears throat> just kind of add it in here and then add the buttons and all of that jazz got it okay and then if you go in here if i want to add my socials i can also add my social and i can basically add linkedin twitter instagram yeah fantastic so even if, let's say i were to add my linkedin okay so it'll, it'll basically start showing up like that if i want to add my instagram font and tutorials i can basically kind of add that in here and then it starts getting so and you know this ends up looking quite beautiful to be honest i actually like that and very very simple which is which is what i absolutely love um let's see what else can i add in here feature columns file social buttons video let's what does a button perhaps look like okay just a simple button got it yeah <clears throat> okay cool i think this is what you know how it looks like now i can also send a test right um to my uh, test email i can also finish it later or i can also send it now or send later so if i have to uh, select send later got it choose a date or time so i mean like fairly standard features let me finish it later and then also just have a quick look at the templates <clears throat> all right i'm going to create another broadcast which is now going to be looking at pre-made templates so let's have a to take this template right so i like this template i just don't like the i think the colors are a little too bright um so of course i can change that i can um let's apply this template and then basically you know i don't know if i want to promote a product i can basically add a feature and then it does that right so pretty honestly just a very drag and drop interface which i which is which is great right definitely full marks on this one now let's look at how email sequences work at podia email so i'm just going to look at this is where the campaigns kind of come in right so now let's say i want to create a new campaign right and i'm going to call this campaign selling course okay 
Now the condition is if somebody is added to an audience, right? Now that can be based on the filter, based on whatever their uh, monetary, whatever they, they, how much they've paid. You can basically add them into like high, low, medium, however you want. Um, maybe they join your community, your Podia community. Maybe they sign up. Maybe they 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 purchase one of your products and then you can upsell them on a higher tier. Maybe they're tagged with a certain thing. Maybe they're waitlisted on a certain thing. This is awesome, right? Like sometimes you just want to kind of create that hype for your product. So you can create a waitlist and then you can set up a sequence once the waitlist, uh, you know, basically uh, once their turn comes, right? So let's say, for example, I'm going to take all of the ones that have been tagged as storyline, right? Um, Yeah. Now this is the entrance condition. Exit condition is actually just one second. Let me just make this to waitlist for product. I don't have a waitlist yet. Tagged with email form. And then exit condition is signs up for product, which is amazing. So whenever they, let's say, buy my, you know, upsetting product, they won't get any additional emails, right? So I don't have that yet, but you can basically set that up. And now I can start setting up the sequence, which is the most exciting bit. So let me just set up the first email. So the first email goes, hey, <clears throat> did you know we have the class? Right now I can use my <clears throat> existing template, right? So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to take this one with my social buttons and everything. And now it's added in here and then I can make those changes and then set it up, right? So I've got my first email in here. Let's you know, set up the second one, which can be for, can I set it up for weeks? No, just for days. So let's say I want to set it up for seven days. Um, like M, okay going to use this one again and then add it up all right and then another one just for i don't know let's see if it accepts more than 60 days i think it seems to accept it so let's take this one and then finish later right so now we have like you can see the number of days. So on day one, day seven, day 60, it's very simple, which I absolutely love, right? Uh, and then you can basically set up the sequence and then they just start getting those emails. You have to make it live by clicking on run, but I'm just gonna kind of let it be right now. All right, so this is what broadcasts and, and, and campaigns look like, right? Uh, I'm just gonna kind of run you through um, if there's any other possibilities. Let's kind of look around, right? So I believe you can also set up forms for your audience, right? So let's see how where I can set that up. All right, let's get to the forms now. So you can basically go into the site and then edit your site, right? And then you can basically have, first of all, a simple landing page, right, for your email. So I chose an email lander and then you can basically just go in and then, you know, decide uh, in terms of design, Let's see, yeah, yeah, I guess you can change the structure, the fonts, the colors, right? Uh, based on whatever your color theme is. You can also, I'm guessing, see if you can perhaps, uh, you can also obviously decide where you want this form to show up, right? Um, and let's say you can kind of make changes, you know, and add a text or an image or a slim email form. Right, let's say you want to add a slim email form. This is what a slim email form looks like, right? So very simple. It looks nice. It looks professional, right? But it doesn't complicate things. So you can add a slim email form. Let's say you want to kind of, I don't know, add, try a different form. Let's see what others you can have. You can add a bio, you can add links, you can add FAQ. So yeah, so basically you have these two forms, which you can kind of add and start collecting the list, right? So now once you've got kind of set up a form, you can basically, uh, you know, tag them to a certain thing, right? So let's say, for example, this is a website signups, right? So now you've got a tag, which is just for that. Yeah. So let me just kind of score this on a couple of things, right? Like ease of use, 10 on 10. Podia is absolutely amazing, super easy to use. Uh, in terms of the email builders, I uh, absolutely loved it. I think it had all of the necessary features you need, right? And, you know, I think it, yeah, it just works. 
it's great if you're a creator right if you want to get something set up as quickly as possible in terms of forms they do provide unlimited forms um they they have a lot of these um you know this you know simple form and then there's like a slim form which i just showed right i think where maybe it lacks a little bit is that you can't really customize the forms a little bit i'm not 100% sure i'll have to double check on that but uh, you know like let's say if you don't like that design or style right you can make minor changes to it but essentially you have to kind of go with that style wouldn't think of it that big of a problem because it's not a very like uh, you know a design that's like it's atrociously bad i think it's pretty simple and minimalistic right and it works for like a very wide variety of use cases the list management was really awesome i mean you know apart from the existing whatever uh, you know the the sample ones that you have you know be it um, you know creating filters based on account activity or tags and everything i really like that you can also filter based on the amount of uh, money you've spent you know on on buying their digital products you can you can filter based on a particular wait list right and these are things that are very relevant for uh, you know for basically uh, creators right and, and it, it really adds value uh, to it right in terms of uh, automations right um, as you can see i think in here you can basically set up uh, basic automations like you know your regular email sequences uh, you know a particular wait list uh, but i don't think they have like uh, very advanced automations right so if you're somebody who's looking to create like these really complex you know sequences where based on somebody else's rep response you can create like a new sequence right there is a way to do that through tagging and and all of that but yeah it's not going to be as uh, straightforward so like i i didn't see like a visual workflow builder uh yeah which was uh i think which was uh, missing there um in terms of you know integrations i think they integrate with majority of the platforms so if you look at their integrations they integrate with uh, convertkit mailchimp trip you know active campaign get response mailerlite flowdesk uh, with zapier as well which which opens you know 1000 plus other integrations um so and you know one of the most amazing things about uh, podia email is that you know if you're kind of migrating from another email marketing tool they will, they offer 100% free migration so their team will basically migrate your your automations your subscribers your forms and basically set it all up in your account which is a very good value add um yeah and you know let's talk a little bit around let's talk about pricing so podia email basically costs about costs about $42 a month right now this is actually on the more affordable end right so if we were to do a simple math right this, this basically comes to this is the cost per subscriber for you right which is which is actually much cheaper so if you look at you know all of the other tools like convertkit flowdesk and all all of these others right they have slightly i guess uh, higher pricing right and it keeps getting more and more expensive right so at 5000 subscribers it's at 42 dollars a month right now if i go to 10000 it goes to just 63 right and if i go to let's say 20000 right um yeah it goes to 136 right convertkit would be at about 20k subscribers at 179 per month right and uh, podia is at part 136 right and if you go year d it goes to 109 which in my opinion is quite good especially considering how well it's integrated into the product right so what do you get in terms of pricing right so first of all you get unlimited email sends unlimited um automated campaigns unlimited um uh, you know you can have as many templates tagging unlimited email sign up forms unlimited landing pages you get support uh lots of great features and then i think the other thing that i like about podia is that this combines with all of the other great features that podia is already known great for so a full website builder you know digital downloads courses you know communities uh you know uh, webinars coaching right affiliates customer chat messaging like you can think about anything and they have that right, right? and and that's what is is amazing about uh podia so what's my opinion about podia email, right in terms of ease of use it's 
probably the easiest email marketing tool that I've ever used. And there's no doubt about that. This is definitely the easiest one, right? Without complicating the, the features, right? So it has the basics you would need, right? Like the sequences and some level of automation and, you know, the campaigns and list management and all of that, right? Where the strong points with Podia email is that first is it's ease of use. The second is how well it integrates with the other products in Podia, right? And you can kind of use that to kind of grow your business, right? I think the third thing is that it is very, uh, well, it's definitely on the lower end of the pricing, the other email marketing tools out there. So you also know that you're kind of getting uh, a good deal, right? And then I think the other thing also is just that it comes into your Podia interface where, you know, it's kind of like, if you're a Podia customer, this would be an absolute no brainer. Like, I mean, I could not recommend it more than enough. There is absolutely no need for you to use another email marketing tool if you're already a Podia customer because it has pretty much, you know, the 80-20 the of what you would need in an email marketing tool, right? And it's just so well integrated. I don't think any integration would be as good. Any outside email tool uh, integration with Podia would be as good as Podia emails integration, right? So if you're somebody, uh, you know, who's a Podia customer, like would 100% recommend it, right? Now let's talk about the cons where Podia perhaps, uh, you know, is not that great. So I think one of the things is I thought that Podia email, while it's, it's pretty simple to use and everything, right? Uh, they've covered the 80, 20, which also means they've missed out on, you know, a couple of, uh, more advanced level features, right? For example, like a visual workflow builder they don't have, maybe you want to kind of, let's say a B test email subject lines, right? That is something you can't, uh, you know, get in Podia email. Let's say you want to kind of set up an automatic email newsletter through an RSS feed. You can't set that up. Right. Uh, but these are things that are like very specific to very specific people. Right. And if you got to have those, you also got to pay for those. Right. So, yeah, I think, I think that's probably the only thing, even in terms of like, like the design of the, perhaps the forms of the email templates, they're pretty modern, minimalistic and simple, right? But and most importantly, it makes you look like a professional business, right? Which is, which is, I think, uh, pretty important, right? So my final take to, you know, Podia's email, I think this is a very good addition to the email marketing tool space. I think it's very, um, I think they have a very interesting spin to email. Uh, just, you know, from a creator's perspective, how can you make it simpler? How can you make it more in terms of how the creator can make more revenue? And I think Podia has done a fantastic job on that, right? So if you uh, enjoyed this email review, please consider buying Podia email through my affiliate link below. It's in the YouTube description, right? It won't cost you anything, but it will help support all of these, uh, you know, the, these videos and this research. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for considering on that. And if you have any other questions on Podia email, you can just drop me a comment in there and then uh, I will do my best to find the answer for you and, and, uh, and, and you know, answer a query in there, right? I wish you a wonderful day ahead. Thank you for watching this review.